Not only do the proteins need to get created, they need to be folded properly. And then if they're not folded properly, if our body has the available ATP energy resources, if they're not folded properly, there's a recycling system where our cells gobble them up and then clean up the misfolded proteins and it redoes them to try to get a good one. If we don't have enough energy, which is, which is one of the 12 hallmarks of aging, you guys, chronic energy deficiency, which is the same thing as chronic mitochondrial dysfunction, it's a big problem because when we have these misfolded proteins, so if it's a tightened protein and it's misfolded and it's not acting as springy as it should, or if it's too stiff, and then our body also doesn't have enough energy to recycle those messed up proteins, we get all these fucked up proteins floating around the body that cause the heart to be stiffer. It decreases like the pump volume of the heart. So like the ejection fraction, all those, uh, all those different measurements, you guys basically just, it, it messes up the heart's ability to fill with blood and pump it out because the heart can get too stiff like it does in lots of other diseases. But the Titan protein itself is one of the underlying things that causes the heart to do that along with the other muscles. And just think about that for, you, for a second, you guys. The Titan protein plays a massive role in heart pathology. 99.9% .9 of cardiac surgeons or cardiac doctors have no idea the Titan protein exists because they were never taught about it in school. It's still not taught about in school today.